Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Cracks That Turning Problems Into Solutions. This is me Priya Shadas and today we are up with the day 9 of the CMAT special workshop where we'll be discussing the CMAT special reading comprehension questions. How there is a perfect blend of the direct and the inference based questions in a single RC question of CMAT. We'll be discussing that in detail. But before that, let me tell you about the current price hike which Unacademy is going to have on its CAT subscription. So if you guys are planning to have a take a subscription one month later or so then please don't wait for so long because since they are extensively coming out with these posters they are surely going to get a price hike for their cat subscription so right now they are running it already at the reduced prices for six months 12 months 18 months and 24 months for the plus subscription as well as iconic you already know the benefits of plus subscription and you would also be getting a complimentary campus placement kit as well if you would be subscribing now so don't forget to use my code priyasha10 while subscribing into this course because that will give you an additional instant discount of 10 percent on the existing reduced prices but if you take a lot of time doing that you might end up getting a 10 percent discount on the new price hike on the cat subscription and if you are looking forward for the iconic subscription then the iconic subscription would be giving you a hand holding sessions where one to one live doubt solving will be there one to two one live concept discussion would be there and the best part is that you will be mentored by the top b school graduates and of course you can book these slots according to your time preference and these kind of features are specifically available for the iconic subscribers only so don't forget to miss out this opportunity they are very soon going to have a price hike so don't miss out this or reduce prices additional complimentary packages and many more so check the link in the description box and enroll yourself into the cat subscription and don't forget to use my code priyasha10 now let's get our video started hello everyone so today we are with day 9 cmat special workshop in which we'll be conducting the second part of the verbal session and in this we will be discussing the cmat specific reading comprehension questions so over here before we get started with the reading comprehension it's essential for us to know that what have we completed already so there are certain topics which uh, you would get a video on already on my channel like fill in the blank sentence correction grammar based questions para jumble reading comprehension tips like the golden rules how to get started with it then we have poem based questions okay in case you expect any one of them you can have a chat like look over these videos close test idioms phrases synonyms antonyms so these videos are already existing on my channel so you can surely go and check them out if you want a deeper depth into these topics and in the part one of this series we have already covered these topics so if you haven't watched the part one i request you to go and have a look over there as well you can check the i button at the top the description box or the first comment of this video and you will get all the links right there you just need to redirect to that particular video and in this video we'll be talking about cmat specific rc so before we actually get down with an example and get started with it we would try try to understand that what's the general pattern of the rcs in the cmat examinations so when it comes to reading comprehension of cmat it's way too different than others and yes when i say this i say this with all my might because i have gone through around 80 passages of cmat across different years and i have come across this one common thing in all the passages that's a beautiful blend of direct questions and inference based questions so in in cat or in other examinations like that what happens what happens we generally see that a question is inference based if it is inference based it's directly inference based and if it's direct which we don't really get in cat but in other examinations we can get okay so in the direct questions we have a direct answer that what happened when he did so the answer will be in the options and in the passage as well but there is a very beautiful blend in cmat and the people who design the cmat rcs are really really you know <laughs> very special because they make the rcs of cmat special agar aap sirf pyq se practice karte ho so you would realize that this kind of questions are specifically asked in cmat only so what's this direct and inference based blend okay this blend is where the question when you read the question it seems like a direct question to you 
but when you check out check out the options they are not in the direct language like for this question only i'll try to take you through before reading the passage i'll ask you to go through the question okay this has also been a very frequent question from students so just wanted to tell you this guys that when it comes to the passages of cats that which are way too extensive lengthy and heavily loaded with you know jargons and vocab words then in that case you can read the passage first try to extract whatever information you can extract from each passage and then there on go and do the other uh, like questions but when it comes to the omits the other the other management examination like snap ift tisnet okay here we have the one cmat in these type of examinations we have lesser time okay to be devoted to each question in the reading comprehension section and that's the reason why we should have a you know good speed in it and for developing speed we can read the questions first so that after reading the question we can directly jump or concentrate on that part of the reading comprehension and get our answer and generally the questions are more direct oriented than inference based so agar hum pehle questions pad lete hain so that could be actually better for us so let's read the question number 1 i have to complete the following sentence so the moment i look at complete the following sentence it looks like oh uh, this is something different like this is just fill in the blank so it will be a direct question but read it tilak's messages were most effective dash so when he delivered them through the editorials after his death before his imprisonment or when delivered in speeches so this might come out to be directly present in the passage but it will be so nicely blended and in some other words like present in the form of some other words that it might not be a uh, just a play of keyword related search okay so you can't really search the word and get the answer you have to read the passage carefully and at the same time be ready with a replacement like the sentence in the in the passage will be a little different sentence and the sentence in this answer options are a little different one so that's the direct and the inference based blend that means you need to understand the concept and then replace the words like just to rephrase the sentence okay so what's essential in cmat uh, based exams or cmat based rcs the inference based questions are turned into direct questions using rephrasing the technique which they use is rephrasing they just rephrase the option so that aap use directly pakad na sako but since you are watching this video and now you are knowing the real crux of the cmat rcs ab aapke liye ye kafi easy ho jayega okay so this was the first question let's quickly read the next question and then we'll start with the passage guys which of the following is the result of lokmanya tilak's exemplary life okay so why is he said to have an exemplary life what resulted into him turning into having into a, having a exemplary life people resolved to fulfill his life dreams the newspapers edited by him did not incur monetary loss he was put in jail that cannot make his life exemplary without even reading the passage you can eliminate few options and the books written by him are useful okay now the next question is which of the following is the general tendency of the critics according to the passage so they according to the passage so this also seems to be a direct question where somewhere in the passage in some other words the tendency would be written and the options are rephrased so aapko bas meaning samajhna hai so just keep the options in mind to condemn one and all the reformer writers to justify their criticism to praise only those writers who they like to find fault with one or the other expression of the writer all right and the fourth question in the context of the passage a reformer becomes effective if again this is a very direct question that a reformer will be called effective only if he does or only if is he if he is one of the things but again rephrasing ko hamesha dimag mein rakhna if he is a journalist with an objective view point he is an author with an excellent style of writing he is a good critic of social practices and he is a person with consistency in his writing and lifestyle 
okay sounds correct to me but we cannot finalize our answer before reading the passage question number 5 which of the following types of writers can be moral in their personal life and lack in the public life so somewhere or the other in the passage we can get this line directly so we'll have to make a note of it option a says those who want to reform people those who whose writing is an extension of their exemplary lives okay exemplary life was there in the question at the top as well those who lead an authentic life and those who want to entertain people and the last question of this passage is in the context of the passage which of the following statements about tilak and the reformers is true they were morally moral in private but lack in public life okay this is also a repetition of the question at the question number 5 very few people used to read the newspapers even from inside the jail they were allowed to edit their newspapers even in from inside the jail and their influence on the people was negligible okay so fine then now we will move down to the passage okay and we'll try to check where we can find these points okay but uh, in this context guys you have to make Uh, make sure that you are not giving up on the data search like what generally happens is that i have seen students that they are not able to search a particular word and they give up on it they say like okay it's not present and i'm not able to get it so it's better if i leave it but that's that's not the thing you are supposed to do in cmat based rcs see the logic of reading the reading comprehension remains the same If you haven't watched my golden rules videos on reading comprehension please do watch it it's the same thing i'll be applying the same golden rules over here and extracting the data from here and this will be much faster and easier because the passage is simple in cmat compared to scat and that okay so let's read it the reformer must know that what's the meaning of that that means a word which will a word a special word after which the information is important so what should the reformer must know what what moves people is the authentic life not mere writing so that means this is one such point which we can note okay note down and see guys of course in the cbt examination you are not supposed to note something on the screen so that's why the only way you can make notes is you would be given some rough materials to do like to do the mathematics or over there so you can use that rough paper and note down that the first para and the points in short like authentic life like a u t h okay just write the keyword so that you are redirected to the first line and also you can write down the line number if you think that one paragraph has more than eight lines in it okay So first point to note is authentic life not mere writing is something what moves people the newspaper and the journals that tilak and the other reformers ran and the books they wrote sold little but had an enormous effect so they are selling little okay why am i focusing on this because one of the options was related to the sales of tilak's books okay so this might help us in eliminating that now their writing was known to reflect and so double idea and means something before it is important something after it is important so their writing was known to reflect and be just an extension of their exemplary life okay so their writings were reflecting their their themselves and their exemplary lives it was the authenticity of their lives which lent weight to their message so they were living some authentic life okay not just merely entertaining people to their example all knew that their lives were an integral whole they were not moral in public life not moral in public life and lacking in private okay that means they are directly stating this thing over here that don't get confused on the part just a second guys don't get confused on the part that uh, you will be lacking in private life and just be in moral in public life what's the meaning of that ki sirf aap bahar aakar morality jhad rahe ho ki hame aisa karna chahiye waisa karna chahiye public life mein but privately you are not doing that on yourself but that's not something which was the case with tilak and other reformers so this is the 
this paragraph is basically talking about the writings of tilak and why his writings were found to be different than others they were not full of pious thoughts and sacred resolutions within the walls of a temple that means they were not just keeping these ideas to the uh, like restricted to the walls of the temples rather they wanted to bring it out in public and institute it in everyone so iska ye matlab hua ye kafi essential hai janne ke liye guys it's not that easy dekho do teen tarah ke rcs hote hain rc number 1 which you get in the banking examination जिसमें आपको डायरेक्ट फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स टाइप के क्वेश्चंस फील होंगे आपको ऐसा लगेगा कि आप बस फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स आंसर कर रहे हो जहां पर आपको बस इंफॉर्मेशन डायरेक्ट डायरेक्ट वर्ड्स में कॉपी करनी है फ्रॉम द रीडिंग कॉम्प्रिहेंशन देन कम्स द सेकंड पार्ट व्हिच इज सीमा टाइप आरसी जहां पर आपको डायरेक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन तो लेना ही है बट उसको रिफ्रेस करके दूसरे फॉर्म में लिखा जाएगा ऑप्शन में वहां से आपको पढ़ना है सो वेन समथिंग इज रिफ्रेस यू नीड टू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ द सेंटेंस इज वेल राइट सो जस्ट लाइक यू सी दैट देर आर टू क्वेश्चन इन विच दैट मॉरल इन पब्लिक लाइफ एंड लैकिंग इन प्राइवेट इज प्रेजेंट सो इफ यू आर नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट लाइन यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू एलिमिनेट दैट ऑप्शन एंड फिर आप बस वो की वर्ड देख कर उसे आंसर मार्क करके आ जाओगे एंड दैट कैन पॉसिबली बी रॉन्ग राइट so that's why try to understand it so if you are making notes somewhere you can just make a note that from the first paragraph this is the certain number of things i found out that tilak's writings are authentic he is not someone who lacks in private and just speaks up in more speaks up in public regarding the morals okay his writings show the exemplary life of himself these are the points which you found in part number 1 or paragraph number 1 this is how you note down the next is a writer who is merely entertaining his readers even one who is merely informing them can do what he wants with the rest of his life but the writer who sets out to use his pen to reform the public life cannot afford such dualities that means he cannot do what he wants to do with his life here is the testimony of one great man about the influence of another that's lokmanya tilak so that's really not a very essential paragraph to focus on it's just a comparison between the writers who entertain their readers versus the writers who show up their real life to the people okay so that's just a comparison you can write that second paragraph is just a comparison mere comparison okay fine moving next to the third paragraph i believe that an editor who has anything worth saying and who commands a client till cannot easily be hushed okay he delivered his finished message as soon as he is put under duress tilak spoke more eloquently from the mandalay fortress than though through the columns of the printed kesari this is a essential sentence you remember the first question that his writings were effective from here's the answer guys have a look tilak spoke more eloquently from the mandalay fortress which was the jail than through the columns of the printed kesari okay so you are going to make down uh, take down it as a note that he was more effective as a writer from the jail okay so third paragraph and then his influence was multiplied a thousand fold by his imprisonment and his speech and his pen had acquired much greater power after he was discharged than before his imprisonment okay so when he was actually let out of the jail after then his uh, you can say his influence got manifold okay by his death we have been editing by his death we have been editing his paper without pen speech through the sacred resolution of people to realize his life dream so now after his death now after his death why is his influence like his influence is so strong that people are realizing his life's dreams and keeping his life dreams in mind still editing the newspaper which tilak started so the third paragraph have lots of information it says how and when tilak actually got like uh, tilak's influence uh, started multiplying thousand folds and what happened after his death all this information is present in passage or paragraph number 3 now moving down to the last paragraph 
he could possibly have done more if he were today in flesh preaching his view okay today in flesh means alive critics like me okay so someone who is speaking up is a critic okay so critic like me would perhaps be still finding fault in the expression of this or that that means he is saying what's the general tendency of the critic this was a question guys if you remember so what's the general uh, like what is the tendency of a critic the general tendency is to find out faults in the expression of this and that today his message rules millions of hearts which are determined to raise permanent a living memorial by the fulfillment of his ambition in their lives so how are their followers actually trying to remember tilak by fulfilling his ambition in their lives so that's a very essential point in the fourth and the last paragraph so you can just note that down now we'll jump down to our question answer session okay and in case we need to go up and check any paragraph we will check that the question number 1 is tilak's messages were most effective when when he delivered them through the editorial he has been doing it throughout his life so is it essential no not an essential information after his death after his death his it was conveyed through his followers so that is also not most effective before his imprisonment no the comparison was made if you guys remember i'll just okay i'll just take you up right there in the paragraph number 3 where you see that there was a direct combin like the direct check direct check was it was more eloquently in the mandalay fortress through the column okay than through the columns of the pastry so it was much much more after his discharge than before his imprisonment so that means after his discharge through speech and through his pen okay so that means if i just go down and check my options before his imprisonment cannot be the answer so we are left with one correct answer which is when delivered in speeches and when did he delivered in in speeches after he got discharged from the jail so this was the question i was talking about guys if they would have given you a simple direct answer that's present in the option they would have given you uh, that's present in the passage they would have simply given you after his discharge but they did not give you that if you have read the full sentence you would have seen after his discharge through his speech and pen so that's that's the inference you have here so that's the blend of direct information and inference jo ki aapko sirf cmat ke rcs mein milegi very special and authentic okay so therefore the answer here is option d now we'll move to the next question question number 2 says which of the following is the result of lokmanya tilak's exemplary life to ye to humne first paragraph and second paragraph mein padha hi that tilak was special because he was uh, coming up with his authentic stories his own story and in in the writing so of course he cannot hide anything so that was his exemplary life so which was the which of the following was the result of that matlab unhone aise exemplary life jiya उससे रिजल्ट क्या हुआ नॉट वाई डिड ही हैव एन एग्जाम्पलरी लाइफ इज अ क्वेश्चन बट द क्वेश्चन इज बिकॉज ही हैड एन एग्जाम्पलरी लाइफ सो वॉट वॉज द रिजल्ट आफ्टर इफेक्ट दैट्स दी क्वेश्चन सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन प्रॉपरली बिकॉज देन यू माइट एंड अप विथ एन आंसर विच इज नॉट द रिजल्ट बट अ रीजन ओके सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट सो बिकॉज ऑफ इज एग्जाम्पलरी लाइफ पीपल रिजॉल्व टू फुलफिल हिज लाइफ ड्रीम इट वॉज प्रेजेंट इन द लास्ट लाइन ऑफ द फोर्थ पैराग्राफ गाइज द लास्ट पैराग्राफ दैट उनके फॉलोअर्स उनके आइडल्स को जिंदा रखने के लिए अभी भी उनके ड्रीम्स को फुलफिल करने के लिए लगे हैं सो दिस इज समथिंग विच इज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ इज एग्जाम्पलरी लाइफ साउंड करेक्ट टू मी now i'll move down and i'll eliminate something the newspapers edited by him did not incur monetary loss ye to completely opposite hai to the first paragraph where we saw where we where we saw that it did not sell much but had a greater impact so this is wrong he was put in the jail of mandalay was not a result of his exemplary life after releasing from the jail he had his uh, influence like growing much more and then the last one books written by him are useful is not a result of his exemplary life remember it's a reason 
So therefore, we'll come up with the right answer as option A, that because he had an exemplary life, people are still resolved to fulfill his life dreams. That's interesting, right? Now, question number three, which of the following is the general tendency of the critics according to the passage? So that's general tendency is coming up in passage number four, where they say that if any critic like me would find out something here and there, okay? So that was the sentence. Uh, they will try to find, figure out or find out faults, okay? So let's read it here. Now, now, option A, to condemn one and all the reformer writers. Is it mentioned anywhere, guys, that we would condemn all the reformer writers is a general tendency of the critics? Not really. And not, not this critic even was condemning Tilak, but actually praising him. The second is to justify their criticism? No. To praise only those writers who they like, not written anywhere in the passage. But to find fault with one or the other expression of the writer is the correct one. See, you, you get a direct information here. Expression and in the fourth paragraph also, just to remind you that this is the process, how you guys uh, will do the questions in the exam as well. So have a uh, quicker look over here. This always keeps happening with me. So I'll just quickly cover that up. No need to worry. Okay, so this was the paragraph, guys, if you remember, and this was the line which I was talking about. Critics like me would perhaps be still finding fault in the expression of this and that. So that's a direct set of information which we have for us in question number three. And so D will be the correct answer for question number three. No doubt, that's the right answer. Now, question number four, guys, in the context of the passage, a reformer becomes effective if okay so a reformer like tilak will become effective when when he is a journalist no when he is an author with excellent style of writing is never just effective when he's a good critic no but when he is a person with consistency in his writing as well as his lifestyle why 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 in the beginning in the first in the second paragraph i explained that the writers who just entertain others can actually manage to change their lifestyle whenever they want to. But writers like Tilak who actually come up with stories based on their real life, showing how exemplary their life is to the people, cannot afford such dualities. Because if they change their lifestyle, their writing will not be consistent. And so that's a direct inference question which we have here in question number four. Sir, you will directly aapko ye answer or statement in the uh, passage. Mein milega. But still, that's an answer for us because we have this passage se samjha hai, rather than just reading it up. Then coming down to question number five, which of the following type of writers can be moral in their personal life and lack in the public life? Please read it carefully. Moral personally, hai, but lack in the public life. Oh, so what did we read about Tilak? Ke bare mein what did we read in the first or the second paragraph? We read this that Tilak is a kind of a writer who cannot manage to lack in private life and just be moral in public life. Okay. He has to be equally moral in his personal life also. So if Bahar Akar morality ki bate karna is not possible for a writer who is apne life ke bare mein likh hai. So usse moral apne personal private life mein bhi hona padega. So what's the answer for those writers okay who want to reform people they are those type of writers just reforming people no those writers who is an extension of their exemplary life who who talks who keeps talking about their exemplary life have to be moral in their personal life as well so that's why this is the correct answer for us okay who lead an authentic life and you want to entertain others is just the opposite. But authentic life is very close, but it's not exactly correct. Exactly correct will be one who live exemplary lives. Okay. Now, last question for the day. In the context of the passage, which of the following statements about Tilak and the reformers is true? Okay. So, let's read it. They were moral in the private, but lack in the public figure. No. Of course not. If they will lack in the public figure, how will they actually, you know, come across with ideas? And here also, guys, in question number five, which of the following types of writers hmm, lack in the public figure 
is a just a trap for you okay you need to just keep it in mind that this is the important part in which you have to keep focus only the ones who have exemplary life will have moral code and conduct in their personal life okay now very few people used to read newspapers even from inside the jail reading inside the jail is not something which defines tilak and the other reformers rather been allowed to edit the newspapers even from inside the jail was the correct statement about tilak and the reformers okay tilak was still editing his newspaper inside the jail and that made him more more influential and their influence on the people was negligible no it was huge so that's why the correct answer is option c for us so there is a learning from this passage guys there's a learning from this passage the learning is that the process of filtering information remains the same throughout every examination in the reading comprehension section but what changes is the style of questions in some examinations they ask you the author's viewpoint they ask you what do you understand by this statement things like that but in questions of cmat it looks like a direct question but the options are not direct sentences from the passages so that means there is a perfect blend of inference based and direct questions together in cmat you not only will read the passage note down the keywords but at the same time try to understand the full sentence which contains this keyword before ticking out an answer so that's the only last point of tip i will end my video with that make sure you read the sentence carefully first use the keyword technique to get the important lines from the passage and the second step would be to read the lines carefully before taking out the answer and that's all for the video guys if you like this video please like this video share it with more and more people and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe to this channel i'll be up with more such videos till then Please take care of yourself and thank you so much for watching.